Well, I think I have a good way figured out with the tie rod ends. Uh, not perfect. The two long ones are both supposed to be inners, okay? One should be right-hand threaded, one should be left-hand threaded. All right, so basically this one is the wrong thread, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if they boxed them wrong, what they did. I mean, this is the right inner, and it's supposed to be left-hand thread. This is the right outer, and it's supposed to be right-hand thread, and it is. If I turn this to the top toward me, pulls it together, okay? On this one, <clears throat> this outside one should be left, okay? This one is, but this inner should be right-hand thread, so I can't, I don't have two left-hand sides. You don't want that on a turnbuckle. Uh, technically, this should be flipped over and on that one, and this should get replaced. But this one with the paint on it, pain in the butt, you got to clean all that paint off if you want it to easily thread in that stuff. So you can either order, I'm going to send all of it, okay? So one side will be good, you'll get both turnbuckles, and at least one of these will be good. If, you, if it's a concern for you that the tops turn the same way when they're mounted, then get a new 3117, okay? If you don't care about that, get a new 3115. I can't guarantee that one or the other is going to come with the correct threads. This one should be right-hand threaded. Uh, this one is correct. So if you go down to your parts store, you can check them before you actually buy them, have them order in, check the threads, that kind of stuff. So basically, the right-hand side is good to go. The left-hand side, you'll have to order or buy locally one or the other. Okay, Rock Auto is way cheaper than local here, but I can't verify with Rock Auto. I look at the pictures and the threads come up correct. This is the 3116. That's that side. That should be okay. This is the 3117. The 3117, looking at the picture, it looks like it has right-hand thread. Okay, it does not. Um, and I ordered them through Rock Auto. They're cheap through Rock Auto, but then you got to add shipping. So it's almost the same price. Just go down locally. And if you go down locally, you can take the coupler with you and verify that you have the thread you need. Okay, and the last note on the tie rods is, if I remember right uh, in my video from years ago when I did these before, they needed to be right about 12 inches. Okay, uh, kind of hard to see at that angle. Maybe I'll shoot a picture from this angle. But anyway, there is at least, there's basically a th an inch of engagement okay, uh, into the coupler to get the 12 inches. So a little bit shorter or longer, no problem. Um, that was why I ended up doing the, the long and the short. If it really had to be that much longer, you could just order, you know, the other long one, except for the fact that, you know, both of mine came in left-handed. Uh, so technically the 3117 is wrong, uh, but I already went over all that, so... Well, I'm pulling all these out of the box and checking them because I'm trying to get a handle on exactly what happened, why there's a wrong tie rod, okay? Um, so far, the, the 316s have all been the same. Uh, they're the left-hand one. Um, 314s, 315, or 3116, 3114, 3115. Um, it's this... 3117, and from what I can tell, the bad ones have all been this Ultra Power, okay, ES3117. Uh, in fact, I pulled this out of one of them. It came with the nut, which isn't typical on any of them, uh, and it's actually labeled in the bag, 3116. So... You know, uh, anyway, so all the all of these uh, Mevotex, they're all still the same 3117, but they've all been the correct uh, right-hand thread, you know, and you can just look through there and, and tell. And if it's kind of hard to tell at the top, I mean, you can hold back and look, and you can see the slope to the thread. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to show it on the video, but uh, push come to shove, you can look at the bottom. And, uh, well, this one's already open. Uh, this is one of the wrong ones, okay? I counted five of the Ultra Power boxes. I'm only seeing three bad 
uh, 3117s that I've pulled out. So I'm guessing that a couple of them were actually correct. Uh, so it may, may just be that I've only got three bad ones. And one of those sets is an extra set, so so far I've only got two bad ones. Okay, so you can see the slope to the thread there. And you can typically see that while it's in the, the bag. Um, so if you go to a parts store or whatever and have to buy one of these, uh, you should be able to pull it out of the box and not open the plastic um, to tell, okay? Hopefully it's not a common problem like the mislabeling of the inner bearing adapters on the drum trucks, but uh, anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, it is the Ultra Power that seems to be the culprit. And so far, I've only got two that affect the kits. If that's all there is, I'll probably just go ahead and buy new ones. Basically what I'm doing here is, I know all the couplings are correct, okay? I don't have no issues there. But I'm going through and, you know, since the Ultra Power box was wrong, had the wrong part in it, stuff like that, I'm opening every one up to save the space of the packaging, but I am physically verifying that that is a left-hand thread. It came out of the 3115 box, okay? This is the 3116. That is also a left-hand thread. And I'm writing it on the package here in case somebody can't quite look at that and tell. Oh. You have to hope when you're building this stuff that the people buying it have a modicum of automotive skill. Uh, and if not, they have to take it somewhere and uh, pay somebody else to put it in. Uh, okay, so this was the 3114, right? Yeah, 3114. Oh, yeah, 3114. And so that should be the right-hand thread. And yes, that is the right-hand thread. So I've been writing it on here again. Just so, if anything, if I have to go back to room for whatever reason, I know that I looked at that one, okay? These are the 3117s. This is the Mevotech, which is the good one. And that is, that is a right-hand thread. All the printing on the packaging makes it a little hard to look through there, so anyway. I have not found a single one of the Mevotex to be incorrect, so it was just those Ultra Powers. And this is basically all I'm doing to pack them. Putting them in a heavy-duty gallon Ziploc. You may not be able to hear me over all the crunching, because I know that comes through pretty loud. And I've done it, done it before, so... as much air out as possible and then I've been writing good on them so that when I look at it again I know that it's the correct set. 